my Shock Miser fans. Believe it or not, it's kind of a sought-after DVD. It's called Spring Fever USA with Janine Lindenmuller. Let's watch. Ten. This is Larry an Animal. Ten. What I see is a 9.6 or maybe a 9.7. I want perfection, Animal. I've dedicated my life to the quest for the ultimate beach bird. This is the band, the Rebel Pebbles, a real group. Janine Linda Melder, former porn star. I'm Larry Wilson. Or future porn star here. It's really you. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Miss Heather. But he's got Anything? some class problems. How about looking where you're going? Sorry, Professor Kane. No, half as sorry as you're going to be if you don't study this week and pass my final. Oh, you're at the edge, my boy. Real at the edge. Do you know what I mean? Well, his dream girl Heather gets uh, like kidnapped by these two guys, and they gotta rescue her. Anyway, he she sends him out to get some Dom Perignon. So he goes to the liquor store, and Ron Jeremy holds him up. She's changed her outfit while getting drunk. <laughs> but before they can do anything, those bad guy kidnappers come in and grab her again. But she gets away. The next day he finds Rachel. She says they've got to find Heather, who's now missing. But it turns out Rachel's a bad guy too. She's working with those kidnappers. Come on down. How can they be twin brothers? Yet another woman, Jane, comes in and rescues him. So they're trying to find Texas. Heather. She wouldn't go. Leave me for some dumbass surfer. Oh, Padre Island! Every kid in the Southwest goes there for spring break. It's a bitchin' party town. Party town. She just said the magic words. So Larry and Jean are basically traveling cross country, trying to catch up to Heather. Heather's kidnapped.
Anyway, they cause a diversion and uh, they're able to rescue Heather yet once again. But once again, she doesn't stick around. That's Ron Jeremy again in a different role. This is the oil wrestling scene. Heather gets involved with this too. Try to rescue her yet again, although she doesn't seem to be wanting rescuing this time. The Rebel Pebbles again. Jane's getting a little jealous at this point. There's a lot of girl watching scenes in this movie. Anyway, Larry's challenged to a belly flop competition and he takes it to the extreme. Anyway, his competition is so impressed he uses some of his girls to distract the kidnappers so he can help them find Heather without them following. Heather is being held captive on this boat and the guy wants to go to Brazil with her to prevent her from going to that meeting. Anyway, they're able to rescue Heather once again. And it looks like Larry and Jane might be becoming a couple now. But what about Heather? Is she in love with Larry too? Heather invites him down below deck. What's up? Well, I'm gonna stay with you guys for a So Heather's gonna go with Mega Mind Animal. And Larry and Jane will be together. The professor. Because of reports of your conduct during spring break, we are revoking your scholarship. You, Wilson, are out! Daughter of Roger Beaumont. Jane saves the day. Of Lipton Beaumont Industries. As in Lipton Beaumont Law Library? And the Lipton Beaumont Gymnasium. And a member of the board of seven different colleges, including this one. Kane, I want you to know two things. One, your tenure's up for review this year. And two, my boyfriend isn't going anywhere. He's just been given the Lipton Beaumont Scholarship. I love you too. And they live happily ever after. Alright, let's talk about this movie, Spring Fever USA. It's a movie that I taped off of cable probably around 1989. 
um, when I was uh, looking for it later on, uh, when I was trying to tape SP speed stuff, found it under a pre-recorded VHS tape under the title Lauderdale, which I purchased, and I have that. And Lauderdale is available on DVD under that title. It's also available under the title Spring Fever USA. I'll leave a link to it to Amazon down below if you're interested, although uh, this is a little pricey. Uh, it's 50 bucks on Amazon right now, otherwise you might pay 80 to $100 on eBay. I don't know why. But anyway, it stars Janine Lindenmuller. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. Um, she um, became a porn star. This was before she was porn. She was famous for um, doing porn with just women, although now I think she has gone back into porn and is doing it with men and women both. She was also in a sex tape with uh, Vince Neil from um, Motley Crue, which I actually have a copy of that. So anyway, the movie itself is basically a, a 1980s uh, teen sex comedy type. Uh, she plays Heather, and she is the daughter of some rich billionaire type. And she owns some stock in some company. And apparently if she doesn't show up to this stock meeting or something, um, her father or parents are going to lose uh, the company. Uh, so some rival of his sends some goons out to kidnap her so she can't appear at that meeting, I guess. Anyway, so it's up to um, uh, Larry, who saw her on the college campus, to rescue her because he likes her. Thinks he, uh, she is his dream girl. And um, so he gets involved with all these people. Uh, he gets somebody to help him, this chick named Jane. He and Jane end up kind of falling for each other along the way. Uh, Jane is hired by the family to try to uh, rescue uh, uh, Heather as well. Eventually they do rescue her. They actually have to rescue her multiple times because she keeps getting rescued and then kidnapped again. It's kind of a strange little thing. Along the way they go across the country like Palm Springs and South Padre Island, Texas, and all the way to Fort Lauderdale. Uh, Daytona, I think, was mentioned in there as well. There were some signs for Baton Rouge. Uh, There's some oil wrestling along the way. A lot of beach scenes, a lot of uh, bikinis. Ultimately, they do rescue her at the end. And then uh, he ends up uh, not going with her, though. He falls for Jane. They become a couple. However, Jane is like ultra-rich billionaire type, too. And then um, Heather ends up falling for uh, Larry's friend, Animal. <laughs> That's how our movie ends. Um... Wow, there's a lot going on here. Ron Jeremy shows up in this movie as well in like two roles, I believe. Um, he was actually a famous porn star at the time. I think he still is. Um, there's a group in here called the Rebel Pebbles. I read some stuff about them. They're actually a real female rock group. They kind of sound like the Go-Go's a little bit. Uh, but people kind of are curious about this movie because there are two songs that the Rebel Pebbles perform in this movie that aren't available on any Rebel Pebbles album. How many times can you say Rebel Pebbles in, in, in a minute? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Um... Uh, tons and tons of topless ladies in this movie. A lot of butts, some wet t-shirts, oil wrestling, like I said. Um, it's just uh, it's just a very a TNA type movie from the 80s. And uh, they made a lot of those. And this was kind of at the tail end of the 80s. I think this was 1989, maybe. I'm not sure. But anyway, check it out. It's called Spring Fever USA. This DVD is a pretty good quality of it. Uh, I'm not sure how good Lauderdale looks, but this one looks pretty darn good. So check it out. Let me know what you think about it. Spring Fever USA. Watch it. Bye.